Greetings everyone, House here, and if I'm releasing this on time, then you're enjoying the new Rush Week mode, the Giallo-inspired Texas Chainsaw Massacre DLC. Oh, oh wait, I guess it's it's been delayed. Yes, it seems that Gunn wants to delay the release of the Rush Week mode as well as the content pass until Thursday, September 26th. The reasoning given was they needed two extra days of QA testing to ensure the certification process goes smoothly. I'm all for them taking their time and making sure that everything goes smooth, but this of course hinges on the fact that they release it and it is in a good state. I'm not going to be unreasonable and say they can't have any bugs at all when it releases if they're delaying it, because inevitably they will. They are a smaller team, things will slip through the cracks. I would rather have something a little later and have it be in a better state than not at all. So this doesn't bother me. What will worry me is if the mode comes out and it is still kind of a mess, then what are we doing any of this for? So here's hoping that they can pull this off. Since my last video, they also posted the full trailer for Rush Week. This gives us a good feeling for what the game mode will encompass, as well as the characters we're going to be interacting with. This mode is the 6v1 mode, where Johnny is taking on six sorority girls. Seven people will queue up, you cannot queue up with a party, and one person will randomly be assigned the role of Johnny, while everyone else gets a random sorority girl. They also have some cosmetics, that you get to choose from and you unlock some free if you access the Rush Week game mode when it first comes out. So if you're interested in this mode and checking it out and want to have access to all the fun little costumes, make sure you do that early on. I definitely understand what they're going with with having one person randomly assigned Johnny and everybody else gets a sorority member. However, I think this is going to cause more issues than if they just had a killer queue versus a victim queue like they do in the main game. Victim is already the most popular queue in the main game, so a lot of people are familiar with that playstyle. They may want to play as the sorority girls and may not enjoy playing as the killer. So if they get assigned that role, I am afraid that we're going to see more people leave the game. Vice versa, certain people, such as myself, prefer to play as the killer. I have absolutely no playtime as victims in the main game of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but for the sake of checking out the mode, I am okay with playing as the victim. I I appreciate that they are simplifying things by not having perks for the victims or for Johnny. I think that is something that they struggle with to this day, so being able to eliminate that from the equation will hopefully allow them to adjust things in real time and make for a balanced experience that everyone can enjoy. The Q thing just worries me. I don't know why we couldn't just have a Johnny Q and a victim Q at least try it out while having the quick Q option available, so if one Q is taking way too long, you can always default back to quick queue and get randomly assigned a role. Here's hoping that the way that everything plays out isn't my worst case scenario and people can just play the role they're assigned, but I know how people are. I know that certain people will only want to play one role or the other, so hopefully we can get a change to that in the nearish future. One last little tasty morsel while I've got you here. Some people had messaged me directly asking for my take on the whole cosmetic debacle. If you're not aware, there are some people in the community who are upset with the new cosmetics that are being released, specifically these two for Sissy, claiming that they are way too similar to be charging a price for each one. Look, I'll level with you. There's a reason I haven't purchased any cosmetic items for this game. I love the game, I want to support the devs, and I want it to be successful. However, I don't see the point in purchasing these outfits. Most of the time, the victim bundles have maybe one outfit that I can see wanting to wear. The price isn't bad for like five skins, but you can't wear all five at once, and realistically, you only have one or two that you actually want to utilize while playing the game. No killer skins have intrigued me or interested me, and I've had a weird taste in my mouth towards this whole thing since they released the Bloody Killers pack. I'm still of the camp that I thought you achieved the Bloody Killer skin by killing victims and getting covered in their blood. Having that cosmetic locked behind a paywall just seemed an odd choice to me, especially because we were at a point in the game where there was not a whole lot to engage with, not a lot to earn, not a lot to enjoy with the game mode. So no, I don't think I will purchase these outfits. I don't necessarily think that I'm going to tell everybody not to purchase them. If you enjoy one of the cosmetics, you can certainly get it. I know that Cook has a pretty cool one, and the jacket one for Hitchhiker that I've seen, some 
some people use in my games recently, is a really cool skin. If I was a hitchhiker main, I would definitely think about purchasing it, but it's not something that's grabbed me or forced me to open my wallet. And for the record, I'm not one of those people that never purchase in-game items or cosmetics. I have a history with Destiny and with Apex Legends. While this was a time where I was working in a career where I had a much higher salary than I currently do, I'm no stranger to shelling out some cash to support a game, so I don't judge anybody who wants to engage with that. Probably the closest I've come to purchasing a cosmetic in this game is the Nicotero Leatherface skin, but I could not justify the price. I do think that if Gun is going to be toting their new partners in creating all these different cosmetics and trumpeting their commitment to realism and making sure that these outfits fit the era, they need to deliver something that's a little more engaging. Something that we can get a little more excited about than a vague camo-ish flower print on a dress that looks slightly altered. While these are different, and I think everybody can realistically understand, they are different items. They are too similar to be released back to back with a price tag. I can definitely understand the community's frustration with these. And I think that this is something that Gun needs to address. This is something that they need to address so that we can understand where they're coming from and they need to hear us out on this. We don't want to hear the same lines about realism. We don't want to hear about a specific magazine you purchased from a defunct chain store that went out of business in 1978 to ensure that the fabric and the colors are... That's great. That doesn't address our issue. Step back from that soapbox for a moment and look at these skins. They're clearly similar. One would say too similar, and I don't think we're being irrational by having that issue. Especially when we've been told about these new partners that are helping develop stuff for the game and we're not getting a whole lot at a quick pace and what we are getting looks very similar to what we already have. So that's my take on it. If you enjoy a skin, feel free to purchase it. I'll never judge anybody on my team for having a skin. But also, if you have an issue with it, make sure you voice your opinion so that you can be heard without harassing people on the development team. I think sometimes we forget that there is a difference between making our voices heard and harassment, and we need to make sure we're staying on the side of making our voices heard. But that's all for me today. I'll be sure to check out Rush Week once it does drop. And then in the comments below, let me know if you are excited for the mode, if the trailer got you more hyped. While you're down there, feel free to do the YouTube things, like and subscribe so you can see our next video. And with that, I'm off to work. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and we'll see you next time, friends.